Welcome to the Myco Marvel Lab. Come dive into the fun guy world of mushrooms with us. Let's grow our knowledge together. Yo, in the Michael Marvel Lab, where the mushrooms chat. We've got fun guys and gals, no room for flat. Ask your questions, we're all ears, mycology secrets. Reveal the cheers, join the fun with freaks. Caps, four stems in a zany mesh. We're digging deep, making a splash. So like, share, subscribe, be a Michael fan. In the Michael Marvel Lab, where the fungus can. Step into the Michael Marvel Lab, take a seat. Where the mysteries of mushrooms will happily greet. To the mushroom network, kitchen fam, big and small. Together we'll explore, learn and explore. In the Michael Marvel Lab, yeah, we're having a blast. Discovering the wonders, the fun guy and some tabs. So come on down, join the Michael clan. In the Michael Marvel Lab, where the magic begins. Welcome back to Myco Marvel Lab. I'm Zach, your fungal enthusiast, here with the brilliant Nova. Today's a special day in the lab, isn't it, Nova? Indeed, Zach. We're diving into the mystical world of Jack Frost Psilocybe Cubensis. But first, a little magic from our viewers. If you love unraveling the secrets of mycology as much as we do, show us some love. Smash that like button, share our fungal findings, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, you can become a patron of the Mushroom Network or join us at the Mushroom Academy for courses that'll turn you into a mycology master. So, we've recently received a message from a patron, completely inspired by our Mushroom Minute on Jack Frost. They are looking into becoming a mycologist as a profession and are eager to learn more about this specific strain. So, Nova, what's the scoop on Jack Frost? Let's dive into our Myco Knowledge Vault and find out. The Jack Frost strain is not just a marvel for its psychedelic effects. It's a gold mine for scientific exploration. Its compound levels, particularly psilocybin and psilocin, are known for their potency, opening doors to both the scientific and spiritual realms. Hey Nova, check this out. The Myco Knowledge Vault says I need to go all legal beagle for a sec. Brace yourself for some serious stuff. All right, folks, here's the scoop straight from the vault. At the Mushroom Network, we're all about spreading mycological joy. But let's be clear, no funny mushroom business. We're here to entertain and educate on mycology, not to encourage anything that's on the wrong side of the law. Spot on, Zach. And just to get a bit more technical, while we may cover some portions of mushroom cultivation in today's episode, Remember, you're the captain of your own legal ship. Make sure you're sailing in safe and legal cosmos, following your local laws and regulations to the letter. Alrighty, now that has been covered, let's dive into Jack Frost's compound levels and effects. When we talk about compound levels, we're looking at how Jack Frost affects the mind and body. Its higher psilocybin content means users might experience intense visual and auditory sensations, deeper emotional connections, and potentially profound spiritual experiences. So, it's like a journey through the cosmos contained in a mushroom. Delving deeper into the pharmacology, Jack Frost's psilocybin interacts with the serotonin receptors in the brain. This interaction can lead to altered states of consciousness, promoting introspection and psychological well-being. Research is exploring its use in treating conditions like depression and PTSD. Groundbreaking stuff. But how does one cultivate this cosmic traveler? Jack Frost cultivation is a meticulous art. It demands a keen understanding of its genetic makeup, a blend of resilience and adaptability. Successful cultivation hinges on maintaining optimal environmental conditions, particularly humidity and temperature. Sounds like a delicate balance. What about its resilience? Does that make it easier for cultivators? In a way, yes. Its robust genetics granted a certain hardiness, allowing it to thrive in a variety of conditions. However, precise care is essential to achieve the desired yield and potency. Its genetic adaptability is key. Jack Frost has evolved to withstand fluctuations in its environment, making it a fascinating study subject for mycologists. Yet, cultivators often face challenges like contamination, which requires vigilance and a sterile environment. 
So it's about creating the perfect micro-universe for these spores to flourish. Exactly, Zach. Over time, Jack Frost has adapted, showing us the dynamic nature of fungal evolution. Each cultivation cycle is an opportunity to observe and learn from these changes. When we talk about compound levels, we're looking at how Jack Frost affects the mind and body. Its higher psilocybin content means users might experience intense visual and auditory sensations, deeper emotional connections, and potentially profound spiritual experiences. So it's like a journey through the cosmos, contained in a mushroom. Cultivating Jack Frost is an exciting mycologist's challenge. Its resilience and adaptability are due to its unique genetic structure, allowing it to thrive in various conditions, making it a favorite among cultivators. Let's delve deeper into the cultivation of Jack Frost. Its genetic architecture is a cornucopia of traits ideal for both novice and veteran growers. This strain's resilience lies in its robust mycelial network, capable of thriving in fluctuating environmental conditions. So, it's pretty tough. But what makes it a favorite in the cultivation community? Jack Frost's adaptability is one of its standout features, Zach. It thrives on a range of substrates, from grains to wood-based materials. Uniquely, it favors a slightly cooler temperature range than most cubensis strains. During the growth stage, it does well in temperatures between 75 degrees Fahrenheit and 81 degrees Fahrenheit. This flexibility is a boon for cultivators, especially those experimenting in different environments. Adaptability seems to be its superpower. What about the ideal conditions for the best yield? Despite its adaptability, the right conditions can significantly boost Jack Frost's growth. Maintaining a consistent humidity level, around 90% to 95%, is crucial for its fruiting phase. This high humidity, coupled with adequate ventilation and controlled lighting, creates an ideal environment. As for the substrate, it's all about balance. Moist but not waterlogged to support healthy mycelial development. A balancing act, then. What about its growth cycle? Is it faster than other strains? Interestingly, Jack Frost has a slightly accelerated growth cycle compared to other strains. This characteristic allows for a quicker journey from inoculation to fruiting, provided the conditions are right. During the fruiting phase, slightly cooler temperatures ranging from 68 degrees Fahrenheit to 75 degrees Fahrenheit are ideal. This cooler environment, combined with the strain's inherent robustness, facilitates a more efficient fruiting process. However, patience and attention to detail remain key virtues in cultivating this unique strain. For those looking to fine-tune their cultivation, understanding Jack Frost's nutrient needs and life cycle nuances can lead to remarkable results. It's about blending science with a touch of mycological intuition. Seems like there's an art to growing Jack Frost, just as there is in enjoying its unique properties. So Nova, what about the cultural significance? How does Jack Frost fit into the larger picture of psychedelic culture? Jack Frost has become a symbol in the psychedelic community, not just for its effects, but for its role in the ongoing conversation about mental health, consciousness, and spiritual exploration. Its impact extends far beyond its immediate effect. In the realm of psychedelic culture, it's seen as a bridge to deeper understanding. Its relatively high psilocybin content has made it a tool for spiritual awakening and self-discovery among many enthusiasts. So it's like a key to unlocking parts of the mind? Exactly, Zach. Users often report transformative experiences, leading to a renewed sense of connection with the world and themselves. This has sparked discussions about the role of psychedelics in fostering mental wellness and spiritual growth. In the modern psychedelic movement, Strains like Jack Frost are at the forefront of a cultural shift. They're helping to dismantle old stigmas and open up new conversations about the therapeutic potentials of psychedelics. Sounds like Jack Frost is playing its part in shaping a more open-minded view of psychedelics. It's a fascinating intersection, Zach. The scientific interest in psilocybin as a therapeutic agent is growing, parallel to its cultural and spiritual significance. This dual perspective is vital in understanding the full potential of strains like Jack Frost. A true example of where science meets spirituality. Before we wrap up, let's take a quick detour into something really cool, the Mushroom Network's marketplace. Nova, this place is like a mycologist's dream mall, right? Absolutely, Zach. The marketplace is a dynamic hub where mycologists can trade, 
sell, and acquire everything fungi-related. It's a constantly evolving space, reflecting the growth and diversity of our community. And for those wondering about Jack Frost genetics, while the mushroom network might not directly stock every strain, Jack Frost is quite popular. Several of our mycologist vendors in the marketplace offer these sought-after genetics. It's a treasure trove for enthusiasts and professionals alike. So it's like a constantly changing fungi festival. But remember, you've got to act fast. These mycologist vendors update their inventory regularly, and those rare finds don't last long. And if you need any help navigating the marketplace or have questions, our patron support team is always ready to assist. It's all part of being in the Mushroom Network family. Want to send in your own mycological questions? Scan this QR code here. And remember, every question you ask fuels our deep dives into the fungal kingdom. Don't hesitate to visit themushroomnetwork.com forward slash ask the network. Your curiosity is our inspiration. And that brings us to the end of our journey with Jack Frost. Thanks for joining us in this mycological exploration. While we have your attention here, this video's myco rewards code is Frosty Fungi 23. Again, the myco rewards code is Frosty Fungi 23. And don't forget, if you loved diving into the world of fungi with us, show your support. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Become a part of our growing community as a free patron at the Mushroom Network. Every like, share, and subscription helps us bring more fungal wonders to you. And who knows, maybe next time we'll be glowing with bioluminescent mushrooms. So keep exploring, and remember, the world of mycology is just a spore print away. See you in the next episode of Myco Marble Lab.